Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you the concept of making your own custom functions in Excel. Um, a custom function can do anything that you want it to do, basically. Uh, anything you, that you can program into Visual Basic. Um, you might want to use this if you have a really complicated formula or uh, just something that you need to do repeatedly that you don't want to rewrite the formula over and over. So, to get started, I'll just show you how to do it. Uh, you go to the Visual Basic Editor with Alt F11, or you can right click on your worksheet and go to View Code. Uh, we have to do this in a module, so we're going to insert a module and go into it. And the way we do it, we type function and then the function name. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to call it check num parenthesis. Now here, it's the values that you're going to pull in to use on this function. So I had six values I wanted to check uh, in this example. I'm just going to call them A, B, C, D, E, and F. Okay. You can see it automatically put the end function there for me. Um, actually, I already wrote this earlier, so I'll just paste it in here. Uh, basically, the result that you want returned to your spreadsheet is your function name and you put the value. So in this case it's going to assign a default value of no and then it checks uh, these multiple criteria. This isn't great code or anything, it's just an example. Um, and if it matches all the criteria then it will return the function result as a yes. Alright, so let's let's go ahead and close that. It should save automatically. Alright, and then here all you do is equals and then your function name that you made. Check now, you can see it auto filled there. And you put your parentheses, and you need to fill in your inputs into the function. And close parentheses. So it checked do all these numbers equal one or two uh, from the Visual Basic? Let's look at it one more time. and you can see the simple steps it went through to decide if each of those cells met those criteria and this code could do anything you wanted it to do and let's let's make a sample show yes by making all these one or two yes and there you have it so if this is some formula I had to write all the time and I didn't want to uh, take a lot of time to do it I might make a function and um, check six other numbers like so. Uh, there you have it. So let me know if you have any questions about that and thanks for your time.